In this video we're going to look at long division again and this time a slightly more complicated sum we're looking at 364 divided by 14. Now as I said in the previous vis video division is the opposite of multiplication. 14 isn't a times table that most people will be familiar with so before we even start dividing it's a good idea to write down the 14 times table. Um, once times 14 equals 14, 2 times 14 equals 28, 3 times 14 equals 42, 4 times 14 equals 56, 5 times 14 equals 70 and 6 times 14 equals 84. That's probably as far as we will need to go but obviously you can continue it on if you need to. So we need to set the sum up in the same way as we did before. 14 with a division symbol divided into 364. First question we need to ask is how many times does 14 go into 3? Well 14 doesn't go into 3. How many times does 14 go into 36? Well two 14s are 28 and three 14s are 42 so it's going to be somewhere between 2 and 3. But we're doing this um, in whole numbers so we go with the lower one which is 2 so we say 14 goes into 36 twice and two 14s are 28 and the reason why we're writing the 28 under the 36 is so that we can find out how much is left over once you've um, put two 14s into 36 and got 28 so 8 from 6 you can't do, so you need to take a 10 from the 3 and add it to the, 16, to the 6 to make 16. 8 from 16 is 8 and 2 from 2 is 0. And then we bring down the next number, 4, and ask ourselves how many times does 14 go into 84? Well, if we look down here, we worked out 6 times 14 equals 84. So we can say 14 into 84 goes 6 times, and it goes 6 times exactly. But just to remind us of the way of doing this, and just to double check, we write the 84 down there and check that 4 from 4 is 0, 8 from 8 is 0. So we can say 364 divided by 14 equals 26. And again, as I said in the previous video, you can work that backwards. Check this on your calculator or use long multiplication. 26 does 26 times 14 equal 364. Well, it does. So that is the correct answer.